خانوچه حالا هوا بگه دایانه کی؟ خانوچه حالا هوا بگه Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's LeJune here. I'm now back in it with another video. Now, as you guys see already, in the beginning of the club, you already know what time it is. I got my build for Kamala for solo play, and you already know we doing damage, and we got survivability. So, hey, look, before we get to the video, if you guys go to enjoy it and you liked it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss a video, and also be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty now, this is right here is my Kamala build. Now I'm gonna show you my stats. Now my stats, what I have is 251 might. I have 78 proficiency. I have 214 valor, 147 resolve, zero resilience, and zero intensity. Now you may be looking at that very confused, but the reason why I do this is because as you know, Kamala does have a healing ability. So the fact that you could just heal yourself instantly and the fact that you can have like an other effect of keep healing yourself, like an overtime effect you it's really kind of not needed for resilience but at the end of the day you still can do resilience so i'm not saying that you have to do it i'm just saying like for me i just feel like with her healing capabilities and how fast i can get it up due to the ring you know that's why i have zero resilience now so for the first thing we're gonna get into when it comes to her uh you know to my build overall is the gear so for this one right here i can 100 percent say that i got this from the mega hive I was running the Mega off with her and I got very, very lucky and I got to just drop light combo finishers, which is real easy to do with her and heavy power attacks do uh, particle damage, uh, basically, you know, PIM damage. And the fact that I got the PIM right there is do increased damage of PIM of any attack by 20%, that is a huge damage increase right there. So I'm really blessed with that one. And that's probably why you see that huge numbers like that in the beginning of the clip. So uh, yeah, that's probably why I'm hitting some big numbers with her. So for the second one, I do have uh, this one right here. Um, now, the one that I really just use, to be honest, is the, the you know the second one, the electric bands. Um, now, if you didn't know, you can literally affect multiple enemies with uh, with you know uh, have grabbing an enemy and hit them with a status effect. It is very easy, legit. All you have to do, I will show you an example for gameplay as well when you get into the gameplay section. But all you have to do is grab an enemy. And when you grab an enemy, bring it next to another enemy and make sure you're hitting them with the enemy that you got grabbed and it will affect them with shock damage and you can literally just apply shock damage very easily. So I will be showing y'all that, you know, it's very easy to do. So that's another thing. And, you know, I do got, uh, you know, the PIM, you know, PIM and my power attack. So it is very easy to do status effect with Kamala. So 100%, it is very easy. Now for this one, I do have uh, basically like a, this is like an offensive chess piece right here, but the perks do help me out. The middle one really does help me out from being perfectly honest. You know, it grants willpower when I'm critically injured. Now this is 100% it procs every single time. So when I'm critically injured, I will get a health burst very instantly like that. So that is pretty useful to be honest. And now for the last piece, the one that really helps me out a lot is two of the perks. Now I do the assault inspiration where I do you know the um, you know do assault ability and I get you know a power back I mean not power back willpower aka health back and the rampage buff. Now the thing about rampage buff what I really like about it is the fact that if you pop your ultimate if you go and begin with Kamala for some odd reason it counts as you defeating three enemies because you as you know you don't have to defeat three enemies for this to proc you can literally defeat like some objects around the area or the area that's around you and you can literally proc your damage buffs it's very very easy so um yeah that's what i have for kamala now for my minor artifacts now this one i can 100 percent say that i got from the dna chest as you know they did add in new minor artifacts and this one right here the vital cosmic aura now i do have a video explaining about all the perks that come in with the new uh, minor artifacts so if you guys want to check that out i do have the video you probably see it on the top of left right corner of the video but this one right here is very very crucial i rock this on my support build and my you know the solo build that i got uh as you see right here it's a 60 percent chance from when reviving a down teammate you generate a temporary cosmic aura that restores willpower to any teammates within range now that is pretty dope now for this one 
I'm not sure why I got this one from y'all. I'm being honest. I don't really know. But the thing that is really helpful for this one is the mighty impulse of that 12.5% increased stun damage from power attacks. And power, her power attacks are pretty strong, especially since I can do status effect with it real easily. So having that extra stun damage with it is pretty cool. And of course, you already know you rock the Ring of Nebulon. The Ring of Nebulon is very, very, very good on Kamala. Because honestly, it's the same as Hulk. You can literally pick up like four, four or five. And you will instantly have your ultimate back so you can just like spam ultimates like crazy and get your abilities back as well faster as well so bracket this on a support and assault build is very very you know required if i'm being honest with kamala's because it's really really helpful to get your abilities back faster so it could be in the big end you can spam your heals and you can spam your assault ability so that is really really helpful now i'm gonna go into the skills and show you what i use for kamala now of course it does change because this is solo play this is for solo play i do have a support win now let me know if you guys want a support win because i do have everything i need for support when it comes to kamala so yeah now so we're gonna get onto it now for the healing spirit the support win i do have this one i get an extra charge for it which is you know not bad to have an extra charge of a heal so i will 100 rock that and this one right here at the bottom i 100 recommend this for some odd reason, it refreshes every force, you know, it's, of course it sees right here in the piece, it increases the duration of it uh, by eight seconds. So uh, for four seconds, it'll disappear, then come back and do another four seconds. So that's that proc, uh, that's proccing right there. So you get an extra eight seconds of healing. So that's what I mean with Kamala. It is very, very strong to really rock this one because who doesn't want an extra eight seconds of healing and if you have, I think the I think real resolve really affects on how much health you get back. Yeah, the uh, willpower recovery. So yeah, if you have a lot of resolve, you will get a lot of health back. So this is really good. If I'm being honest. Now for the assault win, if I'm being honest, I I don't know. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. If I'm being honest, but I would say just rock too slow is like a, it does like a, a huge area effect, and it's really good for taking down like the mini drones that fly in the sky. It is very easy if you got a damage buff or if you got enough, you know, valor or you feel like you could take them down. This is really good right here because the uh, the splash damage from this one. And I rocked the middle part. It's a patty cake. Now, of course, as you know, with this one, I got too slow. So I get a 25% chance of uh, with defeating enemies with it. I could generate heroic orbs. So that's really helpful, I guess you could say. Now for embiggen. Now, this is what I'm letting you all know this now. This right here is for solo play rock big trouble for the begging you know to extend the duration by five seconds and rock this one right rock fist of glory because you see right here fist of glory it says every enemy defeated while in begging has a 25 percent chance to drop a heroic heroic orb and you already know when it comes to heroic orbs if you got the ring of nebulon you get your and begging back faster and when you in begging and play if you got a damage buff as well you doing a lot of damage so it's pretty crazy and also if you want to go real big damage numbers rock this one as well I, i'm telling you what you seen in that big that clip in the beginning i had this on right here rocking with kamala and i did that huge number with with just one hit honestly it's pretty crazy so yeah I, this is what i have for kamala in that clip so you can just switch in between either or what you want to it's really up to you to be honest but um yeah for the mastery i do have this one the uh, heroic energy energy master basically just doing you know regular attacks and all that you generate your uh your abilities back faster so i will 100 percent recommend this on any build and you know who, who wouldn't want to get their abilities back faster so i would recommend that one of course i have this one increase all damage for combo finishers and i do a do oh lord <laughs> i do a lot of combo finishers with kamala so of course you know i really would rock this one now if you don't you can rock the range one if you want to or you can do the stun damage now that she does do a lot of stun damage so having this increased stun damage is pretty cool you'll do a lot of takedowns so if you want if you're that type of person i do takedowns you can do that that's really good for you um, I had heroic takedown, you know, generate, generate heroic orbs, you know, that's a must. Um, right here, it's really, I am to be honest, y'all, I really wouldn't really, you know, really, really mad about the range. Because honestly, you really, I'm, I really, I don't really use it, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we just go go to efficiency. 
Now for efficiency, I do have the polymorph efficiency. It reduces the intrinsic energy uh, activation cost by 40% while when triggering polymorph abilities. So this is really good right here. So for, say for instance, when you're getting um, your hit, say if you're getting hit and you got um, your activated polymorph, it does a 40% um, you know, en energy activation for that one as well. So it's pretty cool. And uh, right here, I do have the polymorph damage. Increase the damage of all melee attacks by 12.5% while using polymorph. So this is really good right here for damage. And this one right here, I do rock. It increases the maximum amount of polymorph intrinsic meter by 20%. So, you know, that's really good and I, uh, to have like a boost on my intrinsic meter. So that's what I rock. And now for this one, I do have increased, I mean, it reduces the intrinsic cost for polymorph attacks whirlwind and seismic slam so this is really good i would really recommend this one because seismic slam and whirl, whirl, whirl oh my goodness whirlwind is really good so i would really rock this one now if you don't want to there's a one where you could do crits right here so if you want to do that one you can but i would just rather do this one because it reduces the you know amount of energy it takes to really use it so this one is the one I would rock. Now for this one, I do have perfect evades, uh, refund 30% of perfect energy, cause I do do a lot of perfect evades with Kamala. So, you know, I really don't have no problem with this one. You could rock the other one with Parian and the one intrinsic. Oh, recharge for, nah, I wouldn't really use this one. I'm being, it's, that's, that's more of like a support or if you get low health type thing. And I don't know, I feel like I have my ability up to heal me every single time with Kamala. And now for this one, I do have rapid regeneration. Then I said shining will increases the recovery rate of willpower and the low amount becomes up to 15%. So this is really, really, really good. I'm telling y'all, I really would rock it. Cause this is just increasing the, um, the, the skills for it. Basically your healing. So I don't know. It's really dope. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but hey, look, you know, we got the, we got the talking out the way. I'm finna show y'all the gameplay and just show y'all how strong this build is. I'm finna show y'all how crazy it is too. But hey, look, man, if y'all enjoying it, you about to enjoy it even further when we get into this gameplay. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Updating All right, y'all, I'm finna show y'all what I meant. Okay, first we gotta heal up and stuff. But I'm telling y'all, honestly, I was one of the people that really did sleep on Kamala. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, you know, she she looked like she was she was just like a real good support character, and you know, there was no doubt that she was a real good support. I just feel like I don't know. I just really didn't see myself playing as her, and the fact that when I got to play as her more and more, I'm like, she is actually pretty dope, to be honest. So I'm gonna show y'all every member what, of the elite team must be really defeated. First thing, not get shield off. That's the first thing we gotta do before we. Uh, do damage. Now I could. Okay. Let's see what we can do. One of their agents mm. is down. Mm. Hold on. Hey, you would hit me off. But y'all see it right here, brother. Damage she can do is pretty wild. So I got a regular damage on. I'm doing 100k with a with just a regular slam. Like, come on, bro. You can't tell me that's an OP. Just a regular slam. I'm doing 100k plus. Like what? You know how much effort it takes to do 100k with just a regular character? The and the line. fact that all is I gotta do is just do a regular slam Impossible and I can do just 100k. Come on. Aren't Come on. Infinite, yeah, you can't tell me that ain't. That's tough. Stay alert. That's tough. Something tells me they're building that look, more. Man. Understood. You see it firsthand how Kamala really works. She is pretty, pretty good when it comes to, you know, doing damage. Can't lie. I was sleeping on her, but she can really do something. But hey, look. Let me know if you guys want that support build because I do have the support. Everything I got for her for support, I do have it. So I can have a video on that if you guys want that. But all right, y'all. So this is the end of today's video. So if you guys are going to enjoy it and you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well. So you miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. Now, if you guys don't know as well, I do have a Discord. So we go over everything we do on Marvel's Avengers, guys, up nice, other games as well. So we do have some variety. So if you guys want to join that, the Discord link is below. Now, I do stream on Twitch. So if you guys want to come out to the Twitch streams, the Twitch link will be below. We'd be vibing over there. So come out there, uh, if you guys can. And 
Also, I want to give a shout out to my members on the channel, the elite members and the rookie members. Shout out to y'all being members on the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But um, yeah, so Junior guys, I have finally, finally finished all the builds for all the Avengers in the game so far. So hey, what's next? What's the, what's the journey next? I guess it's, it's, the, it's the time where we, we, where I test my skills, honestly. So hey, we go see, we go see what happens. But hey, look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, we hope you guys have a good day. And um, peace.